Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of uh, React and Node.js, we will learn how we can create API for add products. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will create a collection for product in our database. You know that we are using uh, e-commerce database and we already have our one collection here with the name of users for login and uh, registration API. And now we will create another, another one uh, collection which is product. After that, we will define a model for this product collection in Node.js and then we have to make a route for API and we will send some data from Postman uh, to Node.js and we will save that data in our collection. And this is my uh, Instagram ID if you want to follow me there. So, all right guys. So, let's start with the first one and create a collection for products. So, we are using here uh, MongoDB Compass and i am creating one more collection with the name of products and let me just create it for a moment this is completely uh, empty there is no data end at all so whenever we will just create this api we will uh, enter some dummy data also uh, inside it so now let's get back to our uh, node project and we have to create a model for it so i am creating a model inside our db folder so our model name will be products it should be product.js because at a one time we are uh, inst uh, storing one data all right so after that to save the time i am just uh, copy the data from copy the code from user.js to product.js because i already told you that what is model what is the schemas why we need it if you just missed that video by chance then uh, you can get the link from the description box all right so now let's paste it here and okay so let me just explain this code briefly so that it will be easy to understand first of all we are importing the mongo after that we are defining the schemas in schemas we are uh, adding the fields that we want to store in uh, you can say that database like name and we don't need email uh, in this uh, collection so what we will add here so we will simply add a price it again it will be a string after that we can add category like uh, this belong this product belong to the electronics or mobile or laptop category after that user id it will we will store here user id which user actually just uh, adding the data in our uh, product table or collection and again it will be string and at the last we are adding here company so company means uh, this belong uh, this product belongs to the x company or y company what happened with the spelling now this is fine and again it will be a type of string so i am just updating this user schema to the product schema And uh, let me just add it inside a model and our model name will be products right so now let's import it inside our uh, index.js so let me take a const product and let's load a model file db and uh, product great so now i just need to make uh, one more api url so let me add here app dot post and we can just put a url like add product for this route and as we know it have the second parameter as a callback function and it have two parameters uh first one is request and second one is response so what i will do inside it i will just uh, store the result inside our database right so this is really simple so let's take a literal and it will be let's say product and we can just say that new product 
so that we can store a new data and inside it we will just get the data from api which will be that will be request dot body and uh, after that let's take another um, variable or literal which is result and uh, what here what we will do here we will just use the save function to store the data and it will return the promise that's why i am using await keyword here and await will work only inside the async function and after that what we can do here we can simply just send a response dot send to the user back which will be result so i think everything is fine and uh, now it should work perfectly so now let's let me open the postman let me add her here a url and change the method name and add some data inside the body data can be type of json and to save the time i am just getting this object from here right so we know that we have to change all these keys uh, in string so let me just change them first and then let's say i am adding here product name will be m40 price is let's say 400 dollar categories let's say mobile or something user id uh, you might be just thinking that how we can get this user id that will be a logged in user id in react js because that is the user who is adding the products right and for a moment we can just get this id from database let's say we are just uh, getting from the peter or oh, let's say from my user anil and uh, user id will be again string and uh, company will be let's say samsung now it should be entering database so let's check here okay so we are getting here 400 so it should not happen actually so let me try again so guys let's check here what's wrong with it ah uh, yeah i just need to put here slash right now let's check again now we can see that we are able to store the data in database and now let's check in our uh, product collection here we can see that we have uh, one data so let's try to en enter one more data which is m30 and let's say price is also changed whenever we are just saving it it will give the 200 and 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 we can check that this is working fine so that's all for this video thank you guys thank you for your support and please subscribe my channel give your valuable feedback in comment box if you have any query still you can ask me in the comment box and thank you so much for your time